We told you about plans for the parks in the town of New Hartford to get an upgrade, but focus is shifting to parks in the Utica area now. Officials looking for a way to conserve funds while keeping the fun right where it is. Eyewitness News reporter Marley Tuskis has that story. Here in Utica, greenery is not hard to come by. For our population, we're an abundance of parks. And today, the Department of Public Works laid out their park's master plan to the public, essentially showcasing what they would like to do in the future. We've never really had a park master plan. And in today's climate for federal and state grants, the first thing they ask you is if you have a, a plan. So hopefully this will allow us to go after some other grants that are out there, public, private grants, uh, and progress our park system into the next 20 to 30 years. That's what we're hoping for. And with the amount of green space the city has, short says by creating this plan, it will ultimately help them save more green in the bank. Taxpayers are able to enjoy our park systems. There's a lot of parks, a lot of amenities. But it's also, not that it's bad, but it puts pressure on the city budget. The park master plan is going to help, it's going to help us fund in the future where we need to go. They're going to prioritize what our issues are in the parks. Short says after tonight, he hopes to make final recommendations and have a plan in place by fall. The last step is finding funding to make it all happen. Back when the park system was being implemented in the city, we were growing tremendously. And we built the parks to accommodate the growth. We've declined somewhat, but now we still have this big park system. And it, it's, it's, it's a jewel in the rough. And we're hopefully to bring it back to a jewel. In Utica, Marley Tuskis, Eyewitness News.